Economics of Love สวัสดีค่ะ Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the seventh episode of Economics of Love with Dr. k h a n r i t a i Bunya Sena, and you can call me k u k i k This program is broadcasting from Rajmongkol University of Technology, p r a n a k o n We see each other every Thursday from 9 to 9:30 a.m. First of all, I would like to say thank you for your attention. Thanks for spending us your time to listen to our love story and economic theory of love. We hope that you will be inspired to love others, including yourself, with happiness. Today, we are going to talk about the 20 greatest l e o life love story from history. In the point of view of Nancy b i o l She is a writer and published this article on the 2 1 s t of January, 2020. She is a former staff editor at Instar, Rolling Stone, and Entertainment Weekly. Has written a thriller set in the 18th century art and porcelain world title, The Brew. For more information, you can see from worldwidewebnancyvior.com. Nancy wrote that love is a powerful emotion. Throughout history, couples in love have caused wars and controversy, created masterpieces in writing, music, and art, and have shattered the hearts of the public with the power of their bonds. From the o r d e r of Cleopatra to magnetism of Kennedys, these love affairs have s t o n e a b a r k e r s in history. People t o swan over these love stories of the centuries. The first greatest real love stories from history of today is the story of Paris and Helen. This is a very interesting story, and I knew from the movie. Troy, it made over 497 million worldwide, making it the city's highest-grossing film at the time of its release. However, it received mixed reviews. Even though some people like this movie, but maybe some people don't like in some points. With criticized passing its entertainment value and bad piece performance, it received a nomination for best costume design at the 77 Academy Awards, and was the eighth highest-grossing film of 2024. If you have seen this movie, I guess you will understand this love story clearly. However. If you have not seen yet, I recommend you to try. Economics of love. Welcome back to the first part of Academics of Love. As I mentioned before, we are going to talk about the love story of Paris and Helen from Nancy b i o r s point of view. That it is one of the 20 greatest love story. Nancy told that Helen was another man's wife, but when Paris, the handsome woman, met Prince of Troy, saw Helen. The woman whom a p o r i t y proclaimed the most beautiful in the world, he had to have her. Helen and Paris ran off together, 
setting in motion the decade-long Trojan War, according to the myth. Helen was half Darwin, the daughter of Queen Leda and the god Zeus, who transformed into a swan to seduce the queen. Whether Helen actually existed, we will never know, but her romantic part in the greatest epic of all time can never be forgotten. She will forever be the fact that Lao Chen a thousand chips. World Wide Web Career Alert dot in tells more about one of these suitors was Paris, a prince of the city of Troy. Paris was the son of the king Priam and queen Hecuba, and he was renowned for his good looks and charm. When he heard of Helen's beauty, he immediately fell in love with her and set out to win her hand in marriage. Paris journeyed to Sparta, where Helen lived, and he won her over with his charms and gifts. Helen was immediately down to Paris, and she agreed to marry him to go with him back to Troy. However. Helen was already married to Menelaus, the king of Sparta. When Menelaus learned Helen's betrayal, he was foolish and swore to get revenge. And he gathered an army of Greek warriors to set out for Troy, determined to reclaim his wife and punish Paris for his treachery. This war was known as Trojan War. Would last for ten long years, and it would involve some of the most famous heroes in Greek mythology, including Achilles, Hector, and Odysseus. The war was brutal and bloody, and many brave warriors on both sides lost their lives. Despite the fight fighting, Helen remained in Troy with Paris. And she remained devoted to him throughout the war. According to the some accounts, Helen even used her beauty and charms to try and prevent the fighting, hoping to bring out a peaceful solution to the conflict. In the end, the Trojans were defeated, and Paris was killed in battle. Helen was forced to return to Sparta with Menelaus, but she never forgot about Paris and the love that they had shared. The love story of Paris and Helen has been told and retold countless times over the centuries, and it continues to captivate and inspire people all over the world. The love may have been forbidden and tragic, but it is a testament to the enduring power of love and the enduring strength of the human spirit. We can see that the love story of Paris and Helen is a classic lead of forbidden love that has captivated audience of centuries. What do you think about this love story? For me, I really appreciate Helen when she tried to protect Paris, her lover, by using her beauty or charming to protect him and also his country. This is why love is the most powerful power and is more than expectation. Economics of Love. Welcome back to the second part of Economics of Love. Today we are going to talk about. Nine love theories in psychology, which love theory deserves love the best, by evolutionforlove.com. 
Let's start from number one. Theory number one. Consummate love in the Trangura theory of love by Robert Stanberg. Perhaps the most famous love theory in psychology is the Trangura theory of love, which was developed by Robert Stanberg in 2004. Robert Stanberg. A world-famous American psychologist has been the president of APA, American Psychological Association, a professor in many universities, and member of the editorial board of the well-known psychology journal American Psychologist, among others. Trangula theory of love, Robert Sternberg, psychology love theory said that. Love consists of three main components: one, commitment; two, passion, which is romantic and sexual attraction; three, intimacy, which is emotional closeness. The base component of love is called consummate love, which involves all three components of love. However, this form of love may not always last long, because it is not easy to maintain. So maybe you have that kind of experiences before. I see that good long relationships need effort from both sides, for both partners, not only one side. When Bush Creek told in 2018 that was it empty love or infatuated love? According to the Trangle Love Theory, a relationship which involves only commitment and no sexual attraction, no emotional closeness, is called empty love. This is common in many arranged marriages, but even empty love may develop into other forms of love after some time. Obligation of love elements in the Trangle Theory of Love. Robert Stanberg's Trangle Theory of Love suggests a few different combinations of these three components. Stanberg's name the combinations as one, romantic love includes passion and intimacy, but there is no commitment. Romantic love is common among teenagers as well as young adults. Those who experience this look can attest that it is only driven by passion and emotional connection. This form of love is usual from longer secret affairs. In the secret love affairs, you may feel that your relationship is the best ever, but still leaving you a bit empty because there is no commitment. All kind of commitment you need to feel good in the long run. Two, fatuous love involves a lot of sexual attraction and commitment, but it lacks of intimacy. Fatuous love is characterized by a quick engagement that may occur after a few weeks. Three, company love is characterized by commitment and really strong emotional connection. But there is no passion. This is common in close friendships and in long-term marriages, where you may feel your spouse is your best friend, and that is why you don't want to leave him or her, even though you are not fully happy in your marriage. This companion love is why you may still feel love for your partner, even though you also feel you would like. To divorce, rare people want to live the rest of their lives without good sex and passion, so they may start cheating their spouses. Although you don't cheat your best friend, right? An open relationship might be more honest solution here. Social impact on the perceptions of love. Consummate love. The best love, according to Robert Sternberg's Trangula theory of love, is associated often with teenagers and young adults, and sometimes 
their perceptions about it can be communal that people live in, and they may cheat depending on the quality or quantity of information that a person hears about. However, it follows the same trend, and the feeling may benefit in the same way among the name age group. A young adult may experience the type of feeling and pressure regardless the number of times he falls in love within this phase. It then causes confusion, and they rarely do know who to choose as the right partners. Economics of Love. Today, before saying goodbye, let's talk about RMUTP news. ราชมงคล University of Technology พระนคร is accepting new students for all vocational certificate, bachelor's degree, master degree, and doctoral degree. If you would like to join with us, you can see more information from this website, admission.rmutp.ac.th. They are information for all this kind of level of education that we offer for Thai students and also international students. We have some international program for national and international students too. Last but not least, I would like to say thank you for this information from Thao and Country Mat dot com. RevolutionForLove.com. To know more about love, we are going to see each other on every Thursday from 9 to 9:30 a.m. at EnglishOnline.RMUTP.AC.TH and WorldWideWeb.YouTube.com/slash/RMUTPLIVE8792. Thank you. See you again next week. Bye bye. Economics of love.